Hey everybody, Sean Davies here. Today we're going to be looking at four templates from zerocode.com. For those that don't know, Zero Code are one of the leading, if not the leading provider of templates and plugins for the platform called Bubble. So what's Bubble? You don't know what Bubble is? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Bubble is an amazing platform that allows no coders like you and me to create full-blown applications without writing a single line of code. For more information, visit bubble.is or click the link in the description below. The four templates that we're going to be covering today include a Trello clone style plugin, a WeTransfer style plugin, a done for you dashboard, and a form builder. So without further ado, if that's of interest to you, let's crack on with the video. Okay, so let's give you a quick demo to show you how this works. So first thing that you need to do is grab a file. So we're just going to grab this one here of that handsome chap. Then what we're going to do is you put in your email address, first of all. Then you put in the email address of where you want to send the item to. And then you just put a message. So we hit the transfer. And hey presto, that's gone. So the emails that then get sent out is this is the email that the recipient receives. So, um, hello, uh, and we, you can customize this in all of the settings, so obviously it'd have your brand in there. But essentially what this is showing you is that um, this person has sent you some files and you can click on that link and it will pull up the file. Which you can see here. So you can just hit the download link and boom, there he is, that handsome chap. And then it also sends the person that sent the um, file confirmation that that has actually been sent. And if you wanted to, you could download it again. So all of this is completely customizable. And that's a quick example of what this application actually does. I don't know what your use cases for that would be, um, but I have reasons um, that I wanted that. So let's have a quick look at the back end. So in here, if we look at the Filebox app. Okay, so not a great deal of pages are included with this template, but that's because it doesn't really need them. Um, all we've got really is the index page. But on that index page, we've got a lot of elements that are included with that um, so that we can have the functionality of the application. Now, the database is all completely set up. You've got everything that's in here that you can use. And then when you look at the app data, if you really wanted to start coming into here, just like that drops into here. You can see all of the uploads. Oh, cancel. You can see all of the uploads um, that people have used on your application there. So if we go into this one, this should be the last one. So we'll just grab that and we'll just paste that into here just so that you can see how the data structure works. And there we are, there's, there's that handsome chap again. Okay, so that is basic, but it is a really good working application that if you've got some use cases for that, then, um, then you can execute that very, very, very quickly. Okay, so the next two applications that we're gonna look at are not fully blown apps. And that's because Zero Code have very recently released something called Blocks. A block is essentially a part of a template. So in this instance, what we've decided that we want is the Kanban feel, which is this one here. And what that allows us to do is to add a drag and drop Kanban block into our existing application. Because we don't want to build a new Trello, but we would really like that feature. Now the benefit of that, if you want to buy a fully blown template, they're about $200. We only want this bit of the functionality, and we can get this for only 35. So it's definitely worth checking out these blocks. So this is how they look. This is how the blocks look. So it is just like Trello, so you can drag everything across. You can um, click on that. Oh, I think you have to click this actually. And you can edit, you can put attachments on there, set due dates. So it's not as advanced as Trello is, but at the same time, you can do more than enough. So let's have a look at what's included under the hood. So again, because this is a block application and not a fully fledged app, we only really get the one page with this. Um, if you think about it, we don't really need any more because it's supposed to sit on a page with inside our app. 
But with that said, we do get a load of elements that come with that to make the whole thing work. All of the databases are already set up and all of the privacy, um, as far as I'm aware, um, is already done for you as well. So all you need to do is literally just copy and paste this and all of the workflows into your existing app. And hey presto, you've got Kanban that sits inside your app. Okay, so this next one that we're gonna be looking at is the application form block. Again, this is a block that basically adds the form, uh, the ability to create forms into your existing application. Now, in all honesty, you can quite easily create forms within Bubble, but with this, it's got a few extra features that you might just want to have a little play with just to help you better understand the app. And for $25, it's a bit of a no-brainer just to try and give you a little bit more of a head start. So this is the app and this is how everything works. So you've got the standard fields, which essentially is very easy to set up in something like Bubble. But then what we've got is it's got some conditional logic and this is the reason why I purchased it. Not because I want to have work experience or anything else like that, but by buying this template, it allows me to essentially learn by reverse engineering exactly how they've set this up as you can see that these are conditional um, drop downs as well that are based on particular industries and then you put in the information that you require you select the level and then you can add further things in there so this is great for speeding up um, your development time um, when it comes to building application forms you can essentially with this plugin create a really really advanced application forms that include conditional logic without putting any real effort in to learn the platform. So what does this look like on the inside? Well, let's go have a look at that now. So this is the form block within my bubble application. Okay, so on the inside, what you've got here, and this will really help to reverse engineer how everything has been completed, um, we've got all of the different um, elements. You can see that it includes everything that you need to start creating um, your online forms within Bubble and um, we've got dependent select and you can see that you've got dynamic choices and you can also see um, how this is done so feel to modify as the industry and um, based on the sector we've also got in here all of the workflows that are included we've got the data is already set up for us so the reality is, again, this is a very quick snapshot to show you what's included with that. And for $25, it gets you up and running. You can create some really dynamic forms without writing a single line of code. Okay, so last but not least is our Head Start app. Now, essentially, the Head Start app is the dashboard for your application. It includes all of the elements and everything that you should need for the back end of, of whatever app it is that you're building. Now, I have actually been told by the guys at Zero Code that they're going to be releasing a new version of this soon. Just so that you're aware, whenever you buy a template from the Bubble Marketplace, whenever the publisher actually pushes out updates, you do have access to those updates as well. So it's almost like getting a lifetime deal for all of the different um, upgrades that you will get over time. Okay, so with regards to this template, let's have a quick look at the back end um, so that you can see exactly what's included. Okay, so with this plugin, we have actually got a lot of pages that come with it. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough with regards to what's included. So we've got our index page, which is the bog standard page that, you, that you've just seen. Then what we've got is the blog template. So this is where all of your blog posts would show up. Then what we've got is a chat window so that you can actually chat with the users of your application. We've also got contact so that there's a contact page. Now, remember the form that I showed you just? This is a basic form that's included that you can knock up within seconds in Bubble. However, if you want a more dynamic form, like I said, for $25, you could literally drop that, um, that application block straight into here, and now you could build something that's a lot more robust without spending any real time learning the platform. Then what we've got is the index new. In all honesty, I'm not too sure what the index new is. I just know that um, it's not the index page. Um, I haven't actually looked through it massively to work out um, the difference between the two. Then we've got product details. So this is where you would put information about products, so on and so forth. 
Then we've got profiles. So these are profiles of the users that will be using your application. We have the sign up page, which is where the users would obviously sign up to use your application in the first place. Reset password. We've got articles. We've also got, um, I'll show you the article. So this is the article template. We've got a catalog template. So if you are selling loads of different products or services, you can get them all listed out there. They're all powered dynamically. Then we've got the actual dashboard. So this will be the back end dashboard. Again, there's not a great deal to see here until we actually get into the back end. Then we've got the login. So this is the general login screen. We've got the product uploader. So that's this, where you can upload your products to the application very easily um, so that um, you don't have to come into Bubble to do that. You can actually use the app as a standalone app to add those features to it. Okay, so let's have a quick look um, from the dashboard at what's actually included within this. So this is the overview of the dashboard. So you can see that we've got some nice little animations. We've got some lovely little graphs. So this is all of the kind of things that you would want in your application so that you could actually see what was going on. Then what we've got is a load of widgets. So this is a widget screen where essentially you can, you can build this out and you can start to add more. But essentially what you've got here is a load of widgets that you can customize and change so that you can actually work out and see exactly how this kind of dashboard and application works. Then we've got the charts. Now I love these little animations that are on the charts and it's not gonna be too difficult to work out exactly how all of these all stitch together. These are all of the components that are included. So you can see they're really pretty and it just means that there's less design time that you need to put into your application because it's already done. And it's not just buttons, we've got panels in here, you've got tabs, you've got collapsible block style, um, you've got um, these kind of tabs here. So you've got everything that you need with regards to there. You've got notifications that you can use to pop up. And remember, all of these you can very easily customize the colors and the icons and everything else. Typography is already set out in this app for you as well. Then we've got the forms. So these are the form elements. So remember, we've got the dynamic form builder um, that we used before. Now, if we want to get fancy and we want to use some of these um, other nicer looking um, elements on that form, then we can. Um, then we've got the extended forms that are here. So if you want to start putting some ranges in, then you can. And this is all great. And I think I think they just look gorgeous. In all honesty, this is the reason why I saved this till last is because I saved the best till last. This is by far the best template that, that we've gone through today. And then you've even got the wizard forms. So this what this does essentially is this is for onboarding new users. So you, a new user signs up, you make them put in the picture, fill in the basic details, then you drop into the address, and then you drop into the contact information. So you lead them through. Then what we've got is we've got some pages that are on here as well. So we have a pricing page, which you can see here. And um, nice, simple, basic, it does what it needs to do and allows people to, uh, to just click through. We've got a login page, which is included with this. We've got a user profile. So all of the users actually get to see exactly what it is that they're doing within this application. And then we've got the registration page, which is here. So. In all honesty, you don't really need anything else to start an application on Bubble. I think this was $99 and it includes absolutely everything that you could possibly need to get your app off the ground. So for me, this is an absolutely beautifully designed app. It allows you to very, very quickly, and um, without writing a single line of code, get the basics of your application off the ground. Now all you need to do is actually build whatever function it is that your application is supposed to fulfill. So in my case, I could actually use this as the back end and put the file box sitting right on top of this so that I capture all of the client's information. I could potentially even put a payment gateway on there and I would capture all of that in this dashboard and it would look beautiful. So that's a basic walkthrough of this Head Start application. You can clearly see that it includes pretty much everything that you would need to get an application off the ground without writing a single line of code. Included in that is all of the workflows as well as um, all of the different design features so that you can see them and edit them in here, for instance. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope that that video has been useful for you. 
If you would like more videos like this, then please drop a comment below the video. Your encouragement would mean the world to me. Thanks very much for your time, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.